In this video, I'm going to walk you through different techniques that you can implement right now to get your puppy to stop nipping at you, to get your puppy to stop biting at you, whatever you wanna call it. I'm going to give you those strategies. So if you're interested, keep watching. What's up guys, it's Jenna with Dog Liaison where I coach you on how to enhance your dog's mental health needs and on this channel, we break down scientific research in order to inform and educate us on how to train dogs. So if you're interested in a nerdier approach to dog training, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now I do wanna clarify, I really recommend you watch out this video first. If you haven't seen this video on the four different reasons your puppy might be nipping on you, then you need to go watch that video before you finish this one. So what I recommend is you, and as you open that link in a new tab, watch that video and then come back to this one and finish this video because this video is going to make a lot more sense if you've seen that one first. But assuming you've seen that first video, let's get into it. The best method you can do to prevent your puppy from nipping you, quite frankly, is to create a list, write down a list in your phone, on a paper, whatever, of the instances and times of day that your puppy is most likely to nip you, literally. You need to predict when these things are going to happen first because the technique that I'm about to give you in a second is going to be applied in those moments, that's number one. But also secondly, so that you can predict that your puppy is, needs to nip, that your puppy is about to start teething on you and you can give Give him that trade ahead of time before he actually starts biting you. You're feeding that need, that intrinsic need for him to teeth on something before he has the opportunity to think, hey, I should do this on mom's skin. That said, the number one tip that I recommend you implement right now is to rehearse petting your dog. I know this sounds crazy. Hear me out. I want you to sit on the floor in a calm situation not in a very excitable. Sit in a calm situation with your dog, have low to medium treats, probably on the lower end, and I want you to start by just touching their neck or touching their shoulder, and if your dog does not jump on you or put his teeth on you, you're gonna say yes and feed. Now, this is the really important part because the criteria, the expectations of him are so low. All he has to do is not put his teeth on you, and not jump on you in a way that is undesirable. As long as he's not doing those two things, he gets fed. It's as simple as that. Oh, look at him sit. Yes. He likes it when you rub his ears. Yes. Now realize that you have to start off in a calm situation because if he's already amped and excitable, he's more inclined to start nipping you. That was something that we talked about in the last video. So starting off in a calm environment is going to teach him the protocol. Then you can start to implement the excitability slowly and increasingly over time as he's willing as he's able to handle more and more petting a harder criteria could be something like you are scratching for a longer period of time maybe you're making faces maybe you're being silly about it like whatever it is but you're implementing it in a procedural step as opposed to going from like one excitability to ten excitability once you feel that your dog is understanding this behavior and he's not nipping at you in this context at least, within this learning situation at the very least, now it's time to start implementing this in a context that he is more likely to react. So this could be like when you are sitting down after his mealtime. A lot of puppies get that excitable energy right after that mealtime. This could be a time for you to implement some of that training. Recognize that it's going to be difficult recognize that it's going to be more challenging. That's okay. When your dog makes a mistake, it's still a learning opportunity. So many times people think that, well, my dog started nipping me after he was doing so well, so that must mean he's not learning anything. No, it means that he's testing the water. He's, he needs to know what gets him the reward and what doesn't. And a lot of times puppies are just experimenting and they go, okay, I got a treat for not putting my teeth on you. What happens if I do put my teeth on you? Okay, I, do, I got a treat for when I put my paw here. What happens if I put my paw on your leg? 
instead? Do I still get a treat? They have to go through these experiments. They have to go through these steps in order for them to figure out what actually gets them the reward. So if your puppy is doing really, really well, and then one time he puts his teeth on you, do not yes, do not feed, do nothing, stop, reset, try again. And that's it. That's all you have to do is just stop. The number one rule about this exercise is that consent is cool, y'all. You need to make sure that your dog is willingly participating. And this kind of goes back to what we were talking about in the last video, which is sometimes the dogs don't want you to touch them, including puppies. Sometimes your 10 week old puppy just wants to sit with his nice little toy and do his own little thing and doesn't want to have mom scratching on his ear. So you want to make sure that your dog is asking you to to pet him. You want to make sure that your dog is walking up to you, putting his his uh, body up on your, your palm. Whatever it is, you need to make sure that there is consent and that he's a willing participant. Now, if you're interested in more of my how-tos, make sure you check out this puppy's playlist that I've made for you. And if you have any questions, make sure to ask in the comment section below. Hit like if you enjoyed this video and you found it really helpful. And subscribe for more nerdy dog training content, and I'll see you guys soon.